It's a common misconception that art and science are two vastly different worlds that never overlap. In fact, creativity is essential to the scientific process. And when you take a closer look, you'll see the sterile surface of a laboratory workbench light up like a color-stained easel in an artist's studio. A lot of what we do in the lab um, involves really artistic ways of creating beautiful images using you know, very high resolution microscopes to come up with answers to very difficult questions, often at a, very, at a cellular level or even um, at a molecular level. And so many of those um, images are really beautiful art um, within itself. Well, creativity is essential to research. Answers come from a place you don't always recognize. It isn't like you're just working it out in a rational framework. I'm not a musician or a painter, but my understanding is, is that there's also something that moves them from outside of their rational consciousness. And it may be a similar impulse that is happening in the, re in the research mind as well. You know, you, you can't uh, become a great artist or a transformational artist without being a really good sculptor, really good drawer, and a really good painter. Artists like Dali and Picasso were fundamentally very sound, and only because they were fundamentally sound could they make contributions and uh, drive art forward. It's the same thing in science. A lot of people in the lab love art. I even um, had a postdoc in the lab who was an artist. And so when his paper got accepted to sell stem cell, he actually designed the cover of that particular journal. And it was just beautiful. Sometimes I think about music that way, right? Uh, music's been around for centuries. There's a limited number of notes, but still constantly there's new music being made. And, and I think that goes to the creativity of the musician and similarly uh, to the creativity of the physician scientist. So you have to have a good fundamental understanding of any disease process and be an expert in a disease process before you can make contributions, before you can be creative. You can't be creative unless you really know what the problems are and you know something inside and out. Because what you're doing here is you're trying to find something new that doesn't currently exist, which means that you have to create it from the beginning. And whether it's art and creating a picture, or whether it's science and creating a new model for how a disease works and ultimately a new model that'll help us find a therapy for patients, we still have to create from the beginning something new. I think creativity is important for every human, whether they're a researcher or not. It's trying to take what's in front of you and make something new. That is a critical uh, function that feeds the human spirit. Mm -hmm.